Okay, we're here in Times Square. We have RSVP'd for tomorrow's Freedom of the Press event, Press Freedom event in the United Nations, um, largely devoted to the Reuters journalists in Myanmar. We cover the issue. Our RSVP has been accepted, and we've been told to come and pick up our tickets here in the lobby of Three Times Square, and therefore we shall. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? You I am. Matthew Lee is my name. Oh, that's an easy one. Yep. <laughs> it is. Pretty straightforward. They, for some reason in the email they said 47th and... Yeah, yeah. so that was... That was a little weird. because you didn't. Uh, so they yeah. had the right address, but the yeah. cross streets were off. It's all... <laughs> It could say we rustled this. Sometimes they, I, they, I was in oh, something else where they put it under R for some reason. Right Try it that way. Right. I'll show you the email I if I need to. Right, sure. Okay. Hundred percent. Now I've received an email that I'll, I'll read and I will report as well. What I can say is this. Inner City Press, which reports in great detail on the United Nations, it's a long story, thrown out by Antonio Guterres because he's so corrupt, as a journalist. But as a person, as a journalist, whose plight has been reported in the Columbia Journalism Review and the New York Post and the Press Freedom Tracker, as an individual, I RSVP for an event tomorrow inside the UN sponsored by the Committee to Protect Journalists, Joel Simon. Roger, Ro, Robert Mahoney and Reuters, Stephen J. Adler. And they told me, come and get your ticket at Reuters in Times Square. And so I went there. And suddenly there was no ticket. There were hundreds of tickets for other people, but there was no ticket for me. And the woman said, I don't know, I'll, I'll email you right away. But then nothing came. So I emailed Joel Simon, Roger, Robert Mahoney, Avi, and they wrote back and they said, ah, it's, you've got to ask the UN. I mean, it was a very polite response, and I don't want to make fun of it, but it said, ask the UN. But the UN is the one screwing me. Would they say, go ask, go ask Myanmar? Go ask Sudan? Would they say that? They wouldn't. But they don't believe that the UN censors the journalists. But they do. They shouldn't be partnering with the UN anymore. But we wrote back to them. We wrote to Stephen J. Adler, and not him, but somebody else from Reuters. Oh, you've got to ask CBJ. A lot of buck passing. A lot of buck passing. And so here we are. Now they said, if you can't get it at Reuters, you can get it at Olympia, here at Cafe Olympia in the morning. Well, I'm going to be here at Cafe freaking Olympia, because I have a right to cover this. I'm a journalist. I'm an investigative journalist whose plight has been... I'm not even asking them to, like, validate it. They wish I wasn't, but I am. And if they cannot ensure that... Acknowledged investigative journalists can attend their event in the UN, then they shouldn't hold the event in the UN. Okay, here we are. It's Friday, September 28th. Um, we've RSVP'd and been told that we can go in an email from CPJ to the Committee to Protect Journalists event regarding censorship, ironically. So yesterday, though, when we went to get the ticket at Reuters in Times Square, where we were told to pick it up in advance in an abundance of caution, it wasn't there. And they said they would call us back, and they didn't. So then I emailed Joel Simon, Robert Mahoney, various big wigs and big cheeses at CPJ, and they said uh, they gave my name to the UN, and it's not their problem if the UN, they have no control if the UN... Uh, Blocks individuals. Well, that seems very strange. Aren't they a free, free press? Aren't they a press freedom group? Is that what they do for uh, Shah Khan? Huh. So then they wrote back and said that they'd asked, uh, they'd inquired with um, the media liaison unit. Uh, but uh, that seems like a funny thing. Is that that's the, that's how they go about protecting journalists? Asking the very people who engaged in censorship? <laughs> if it can somehow be handled. So we're going to go in and see whether we find our ticket. Uh, we should. It's an event about censorship. It's an event about attacks on the press. They're the committee to protect journalists, and I'm a journalist whose attacks on me have been profiled in the press freedom tracker. 
Columbia Journalism Review. It's pretty straightforward. Now, let's check it out. Is that the table? I think it is. We're going in. Let's check it out. Okay, it's the CBJ table. Cool. Here we go. Let's see, let's see. L. L? Yes, Matthew Lee. I have the email. Hang on. Okay, well, here's the update. We came for the ticket here. Turned off the thing as they looked through it. They said that they gave a list to the UN but that the UN gets to choose who can go and who can't go. Then one guy tried to say, this has happened to others, and he meant somebody wanted two tickets, so they only got one. But that's quite different. So the question really is, who put the protection in the CPJ? If the CPJ is to protect journalists, how do they let the UN pick and choose what journalists can go in? It's a total fraud. These, I suppose, are the CPJ interns, but what they're learning is corruption and hypocrisy in the UN world. That is what's on, on display here at the UN Olympia Cafe. It's Olympic. It's an Olympia. It's an Olympiad of hypocrisy and corruption. CPJ stands for corruption. Uh, well, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Look, look, look. It's fabulous. Fabulous. It's a joke. Your group is a joke. CPJ is a joke. Total frauds. We should have gotten audio, but it's okay. No problem. Well, there you have it. We're going to go write a couple of stories because this is a fraud. Oh, I suggest you go to the UN. Just don't talk to him. What kind of a, what kind of CPJ interns are there? They should go work for North Korea. Don't talk to the journalist. He might quote you. <laughs> it's an event about censorship that's being censored and Joel Simon has entirely put up to him and trained his interns to avoid the press. Robert Mahoney of the Wall Street Journal is a fraud. They were told about this yesterday. Yesterday. They said, we put in the names, but we have no power. And I said, You've got to, can't, you, you cannot cooperate and coordinate with a censor. With a censor. It's a joke. Okay, then. We're going to suspend. Let's see. They said, go to 46th Street. CPJ said, go to 46th Street. The UN. Just take it up with the UN. Hang on. Let's go use that bench over there. What a fraud. Ah. Should have done audio of that. Hang on. Well, here's what we can tell you. CPJ, Amal Clooney, uh, Joel Simon, and Mr. Stephen Adler are in a fraudulent event at which they, at least two of the three, have been informed in advance that an active and investigative journalist is being excluded and censored from the event and they just don't care. Well, here we are. We had arrived an hour early for the CPJ, CPJ Reuters Press Freedom event. Yesterday evening we wrote to Stephen J. Adler Joel Simon, Rob Mahoney, informing them that mysteriously, despite CPJ having said, come and pick up your ticket at Reuters, there was no ticket. They acknowledged that they put in the name, but said, if the UN knocks the name out, what can they do? Well, you know what? You cannot work with the UN. Imagine if they had an event in the White House. I was just saying this to somebody. And and the Trump administration took a name off. They, they would have a press release out before, the, before they could uh, uh, hang up the phone. So it's not about protecting journalists. It's just politics, 100% politics, a sleaze fest. You know, I feel very bad for the journalists in Myanmar and Egypt, but these guys who are raising funds and wearing tuxedos, they're a fraud. They were informed of this. They say that they talk to media liaison. Oh, really? Talk to Tom Meckel? That's how you advocate for journalists? What a joke. So we're going to go cover the event. We're going to end it as we began it here. An absolute fraud. There's no misunderstanding. Joel Simon, Rob Mahoney, Stephen Adler... The, well, the last guy is just a, it's a, it's a for-profit company. The other two, I don't know what to say. The UN under Antonio Guterres corrupts nearly everything that it touches. Just as they say uh, Trump kills everything he touches, which may be true, 
Guterres corrupts everything. These guys have turned into collusion with censorship to have some bogus event. They could so... It speaks for itself. CPJ does not stand for the protection of journalists. To be continued.